going on YouTube? Sit here and tell you this good old story. I remember back in 2002, man, I was at YA, Fred C. Nellis. I just got there, man, just got off the bus. And I went, uh, I think at that time we went to Washington. Washington Cottage for orientation. So I get in there, bam. As soon as I get in there, the homie from 6 South, little snakes, get into a squabble with a Mexican from uh, Linwood Paragons. They get in a squabble, boom, bam, boom, black and Mexican, get in a fight. Now the rules in YA is blacks and Mexicans can fight one-on-one, -on -one, get the head up. But if somebody hits the ground, a Mexican hit the ground, you got to let them get up. Can't put feet on them, can't hit them on the ground. If you do, then a riot pops off. It's everybody jump up. So, anyway, they squabble up. Uh, Sneaks got the best of, uh, what's his name, from Linwood, got on them, right? So, later on that night, we all in the dorm. This dorm is about like 60 bunks. And uh, I'm new. I'm a new black there, but we just, I mean, everybody, Sneaks new, Philip is new, but most of the people, uh, when you lose your orientation, you don't go straight to the dorm. You go to the to the, uh, to the the cell for a few days. For some reason, I ended up going to the dorm on my first night. So when I go there, I remember uh, they said, hey, they put me way at the back, back of the dorm. They said, hey, tell that tell that dude right there. It's the blacks, the brothers, they're yelling down to me. Hey, when we say east side, we about to jump up. We about to boot it off. I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, man, we was about to go down. So I'm like, damn. First riot. I'm already first day at Fred C. Nellis, and they telling me as soon as we yell East Side, we about to get up and we about to get it popping. So I was thinking in my head, damn, what have I mean? What I'm about 15, 16 at this time. I'm thinking like, what do I know that can save me in this riot? I've heard all type of many stories, right? So anyway, sure enough, a fat Mexican yell out East Side. And then all you hear is ruckus. It's the sound of feet rumbling. Everybody jumping up. It's the sound of bunk beds pushed and skirted across the ground. And it's the feeling, the tightness in your chest, man. I'll never, never forget it, man. You know, tightness in your chest. Uh, jump up, and man. Sure enough, three Mexicans run up on me. They run up on me, man. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying, stutter stepping. They coming in, they about to surround me. I do the best thing I know how to do. I, you know, I throw a punch and do some backing up, throw a punch and backing up. They on me. I'm not just locking up with them. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, swinging and trying to back up, swinging, trying to back up. And I'm way at the other end of the dorm. I'm at the end of the dorm. So, so they, they get tired of me backing up. They try to corner me. When they try to corner me, I jump over the short wall. So we in the dorm, they got the short wall right here. I jump in the short wall. Uh, when I jump on the short wall over there, you know what I'm saying, I find out later that that's considered out of bounds. During a riot, you can't touch the short wall. You got everybody supposed to stay squabbling up in the dorm. Like I said, it's my first day here. I didn't know none of this. So anyway, they squabbling, squabbling, squabbling. The police come in. You know what I'm saying? Get everybody get out. Get the fuck on the ground. You know, they're throwing in spray and stuff like that. Boom. Everybody get cuffed. Plexi, uh, flexi cuffs, we getting cuffed. We get cuffed, we go to get medical attention. And it's about, I think it was about 12 of us, 12 brothers versus maybe like 40 Mexicans. So I never forget, man, the man who yelled out, hey, he said, hey, hey, just, hey, hey, tell cuz down there, we about to yell out east side, he gonna get up. So. And I find out that dude was later on, I found out his name was a uh, headache, man. Headache from Harlem. Uh, in that riot, man, he ended up getting stabbed. You know, he was got stabbed. And so like I said, I hit the short wall. You ain't supposed to hit the short wall. So now after the riot, it's whisper and chatter. You know, they say, hey, that fool, that fool ranked out, that fool hit the wall. So now the brothers is coming to me. Maybe like a week later, they like, what's up? You know, and they, they lace me up on the rules. Like, hey, man, when you know what I'm saying? When it's a riot, whoop you whoop Everybody just stay squabbling up. That's considered out of bounds over there. Nobody run over there, jump over there for safety. Now, keep in mind, I jumped over there and didn't stay over there in the short. I jumped over just to confuse the Mexicans 
By the time I jumped over there, they went and started squabbling with somebody else. I jumped back over into the dorm. However, man, it's things like that you don't know. But I remember, I'll never forget, headache from Harlem. Uh, after that, you know what I'm saying, he came, we introduced ourselves, and we became cool after that. You know what I'm saying? We became real close. And uh, he the one who actually, you know what I'm saying, said, nah, you know what, I seen him. He was back there squabbling up, you know. So he verified that for me. And that's one story. That's my first ride in CYA, man. Nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? I popped my cherry on that one. First day. Man, tune in again. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. I'm going to tell y'all some more stories about this CYA madness. All right.